Welcome to Scale Trainer. Scale Trainer is an interactive exercise in the Jamstick Play Portal that takes you step by step through playing common scales and scale shapes on your Jamstick. As you may know, Scales are sets of related musical notes, and practicing scales is great for getting comfortable with the fretboard, building finger dexterity, and getting used to picking individual strings. Learning scales is also a helpful tool for composing your own music or improvising over other songs. To go through a set of curated scale exercises, you can tap on Play Suggested Scale Exercise. But first, let's look at the options in Custom Scale Exercise, where you can create and play a custom scale exercise, as well as change your preferences for Scale Trainer. At the top, you can pick the type of scale or scale mode you want to play. You can see the scale change in the preview below. Next, you can pick a root note or scale shape. Included in the list are open note scales, as well as common scale shapes for each scale. These scale shapes are great to learn and allow you to play scales across the entire fretboard by only learning a few shapes. Below this, you can pick your backing track. There are melodic backing tracks that will play accompaniment based on the root note of a scale, as well as percussive tracks and a metronome track that are best for keeping time. Finally, you can pick the speed of the scale trainer exercise on the slider. Don't be afraid to pick a faster speed to challenge yourself as there is no penalty for missing notes in Scale Trainer. On the Advanced Options page, you can set your scale pattern. Experiment with these to find a scale pattern that fits your practice style the best. It can be helpful when you are starting out to pick a tonic-to-tonic -to -tonic pattern to best get a feel for the scale. Pattern Repeat will change how many times you go through the scale in one exercise. Finally, on appearance settings, you can pick either finger number or note name for your scale trainer bubbles. Note name can be helpful for memorizing the fretboard and learning theory, while finger number shows suggested finger numbers for each note and may be useful if you are new to practicing scale shapes on guitar. Finally, you can change your color scheme. Pick from one of the preset color schemes for scale trainer or create your own by tapping on each color. For now, we will refer to the colors in the default color scheme. Even if you are going to play the suggested scale exercises, take a moment to pop into the custom scale trainer menu to change these appearance settings to your liking. Now let's tap play and start a scale trainer exercise. When you first enter a scale trainer exercise, preview mode will be active. This shows you an example of the scale you are about to play. When you are ready to play the scale, tap the play button on the fretboard. In Scale Trainer, you play through a scale in time to a backing track. The next note you should play is in yellow. If you are using a jam stick with fret sense, the note may change color when it is fretted. When the blue oval closes in on that note and turns white, you should fret and strum that note. You must strum the note on time when the oval closes in to move on to the next note. If you fret or play an incorrect note, that note will show up in red. To help you keep in time with the backing track, there is also a blue pulse on the side of the fretboard area. When you have successfully played a note in time, that note will turn green, and the next note for you to play will turn yellow. If you want to pause and change the song speed, you can tap on the pause button on top of the progress bar. When you are ready to continue, tap the play button. Keep going through notes until the progress bar at the top is full. Right below the progress bar is the roadmap view. This will always show note names, as well as the notes you play and don't play in a scale. When you finish an exercise, you can see how long you've practiced this scale and other scales. Tapping play again will let you play the scale exercise again. Play next scale will start the next suggested scale trainer exercise. And play AI suggested exercise will take you to your next exercise in the play portal. And that's it. You can now play suggested scales or make your own scale trainer exercise. If you want to play or practice scales or scale positions that are not in scale trainer, be sure to check out the full scale library in OpenPlay.